Hi guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, for my returning subscribers, um, I know I've been kind of absent on this on my channel. I haven't filmed in over two months. Um, just the reason why, I'd like to share the great news. I am pregnant. I am expecting my second child, um, a little baby girl. And um, I'm almost about 17 weeks, so 16 and a half weeks. So the main reason why I have not filmed anything in the past two months. Um, just getting through that first trimester, super exhausted. The little energy I had, I had to give it to my daughter and my husband and just get a little workout in for myself. But I am in my second trimester and I'm feeling good. So I'm super excited to get back out here and start making videos again. So just really quick, I just want to show, tell you where my um, uh, channel is going to go. So yes, these are going to be prenatal friendly workouts. So these are going to be great for expecting mamas and postpartum mamas. But this doesn't mean that it's just going to be um, pregnancy videos and that's it. For my subscribers that are not pregnant, it's still going to be for everybody, literally. So everybody will be able to do these. I'm still going to make them challenging, um, new and fun. I'm also going to modify for my pregnant moms. So. These will still be for every type of person out there. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm so excited to start. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, this is going to be a reformer workout, full body, no equipment, but we are going to use our box. I don't really consider that equipment kind of a staple, but yeah, so just the box. So we are going to start with two heavy springs and a light spring. So that's going to be two reds and one blue for me. So set your reformer up, you can have your foot bar up, and we're going to start by laying on our side. So I'm going to come down onto my left side here. So come on down, depending how big your belly is, take your time, and we're going to place our right foot onto the bar, and we can just rest our left leg onto the um, carriage, or if you like, you can have it straight out, just depending what feels comfortable for you. If you have a ball, like a mini ball, you can use it here to help with your head. I'm just gonna place my arm here. So this is starting with a little heavy springs. If it's too heavy, especially for my pregnant moms out there, go ahead and take one heavy off. Do what's comfortable for you. Don't follow my lead. Always pay attention to your body. From here, we're just gonna go inhale. Then we're gonna exhale, press that carriage all the way out. Make sure you get full extension here and come on in. Good. So we really want to make sure that our hips are stacked, so pay attention to that. And make sure you're getting full extension with that knee. If you can't get full extension and you are struggling here, take one of those springs off. I know it's a bit heavy, but go ahead and do what's comfortable for you. Good job, guys. So press through that heel, bringing that carriage all the way out, and then slowly resist that carriage coming in. Really feel the back of that leg working hard here. Feel the quad. Focus on your breath. Think about kind of lifting up through this left oblique. If it's too hard, no worries. Um, if you want, you can place your hand here, kind of cradle your belly if you're pregnant. And then press out. Good, let's go for five. Use your breath. Four. Three. Two, and last one guys, press it all the way out and come in halfway. So there's still tension on that carriage. Lift your heel up, ball the foot on the um, foot bar, and we're just gonna go into a clam. So you want that carriage halfway out, and you're pressing out. Really feel that muscle working hard as you bring that leg out, and then resist it coming in. Try to keep that carriage still. Good. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Place your heel down, press that carriage all the way out, and come on in. Whew, I feel these. I did this workout yesterday to prepare for today, and I'm definitely sore from it, so it's a good one, I promise. We're going to stay there, and we're just going to rotate that heel up. 
Okay, so heel on the bar, our knee's gonna be up towards that ceiling, and we're just gonna do the same thing, but just with that heel. So think about keeping your foot flat, like you're pressed up against a wall. And same thing here, guys, get full extension out and resist that carriage coming in. Good job. Keep going, focus on that breath. And in. Let's go for five. Four. Remember, try to keep our hips stacked. Don't roll out onto that right side. Three. Two. And last one here, guys. Come in halfway and just little pulses. Five. Move that carriage. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Press all the way out. And come on in. Whew. I feel that. Good. So we're just going to do a quick spring change, but we're going to stay on that left side. So I'm going to release both of my heavy springs and just keep my light spring on. So just one loose spring. I'm going to come back one down, but as I come down, I'm going to reach for my um, strap. Excuse me. So I have the option of long and short because this is a lighter spring. I'm going to put my foot into the short strap. If you don't have that option, no worries. But we're actually going to stay perched up onto our right arm, our left forearm, okay? So we're not going to lay down. We're going to place our arm down, press that carriage out, place your foot into the strap, depending where you're at, and there. So see, I am not sinking into this shoulder here, guys. I'm really pressing through. Let's take our right hand. If you have a pregnant belly, go ahead and cradle that tummy. Or if not, you can just place your right hand onto that reformer. Kind of just to remind you to lift up through that left oblique. Don't sink in. From here, we're just going to kick through that heel. Bend and stretch. So nice, slow, and controlled here. Try to keep your hip up at shoulder, hip level. Sorry. Do not bring it down here. Don't rest it. Don't make it sloppy. Pressing through and out. Good. Try to keep that foot flexed. So you're really pressing through that hill. Good job, guys. Remember, focus on posture here. Head through tail. Try to keep a nice long spine. Lift up on that left oblique. For three, two, last one. Let's kick out. Keep that leg straight. Now we're just going to go into a straight leg sweep. So I'm going to bring my leg. It's going to come stacked right on top of two, um, my carriage leg and pull back. So we're going to flex the foot as we sweep in front of us. Point the toe back. Good. Flex and point. Good. Same thing here, guys. Keeping our leg up at hip level. Do not drop it. So really feel the back of that leg pulling that strap back towards our foot bar. Let's go for three. Two, and last one, pull back. You're just gonna bring your foot just towards that diagonal, just a tad so you can see your toe, and just little circles, nothing too big. Really burning out that side of that leg. For two, and one, reverse that direction. For four, three, two, and one, bend that knee and come on in. Just give it a quick little rub. Yours is on fire, mine is too, so good job. So, let's slowly come on out of that. So slowly grab your strap, but we're gonna stay on that light spring, and we're gonna stay on this side. So now I'm just gonna be kneeling, facing the camera. So I'm still facing you guys, and I'm gonna take my short strap, because I have that option between long and short, in my right hand. So you want to take that um, strap in your opposite hand closest to your foot bar. So I'll give you two options here. I'm going to be kneeling. I feel comfortable kneeling. I feel safe. If you don't, especially if you are further along in your pregnancy, you can go ahead and sit back towards your heels or you can sit cross, um, uh, crisscross applesauce. I think that's what they're saying. Um, whatever works for you. If you're not pregnant, Come on up, challenge yourself, and from here. So we're gonna grab that strap with our right hand closest to the foot bar. So opposite hand 
from that um, strap. And we're gonna start kind of, see my arms facing for you guys, kind of just like a nice little circle I'm making in front of me and I'm gonna hunch back over, flex my body over, kind of sit back towards those heels and then I'm gonna lengthen through that spine and pull out to a T. From here, I'm gonna rotate my waist with my rib cage towards that left side, but my hips stay square towards you guys, and I'm gonna pull back to center and come back down. So once you find your rhythm, you will see how this works and flows nicely. It's really important to pull those shoulders back, stack your head up over your shoulders, really pull them back, nice long spine, and when we rotate, we rotate from the hips, sorry, the waist. I'm not rotating my hips. And then I'm pulling back. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and just go at your own pace, your own flow, engaging that core, getting that nice little rotation of the spine, feeling those obliques work with that rotation. Also getting that back of the arm to do the work as we pull. Let's go for three more. So really exhale on that hard part. So inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. I think we have one more. Let's go one more time. Inhale, exhale as you pull out to that T. Inhale as you rotate, and exhale as you pull and come on down. Good. So just stack that spine up here. Sorry, I forgot one last move. So let's pull out to that T. Now we're just gonna take a nice stretch here. So pull out from that T. We're going to allow like a mermaid stretch. That strap, strap to pull us towards that left side, opening that right side of the body. Pull your shoulders back. This should feel really good. And then let's pull forward. So that overhead pull might be a little bit challenging. It is for me too. And then we're just gonna allow us to pull us towards the other side. So now towards that right side, opening the left side of the body. Feels good, take your time, stay there for a second. Let's do that one more time. Pull out to a T, rotate, I mean, sorry, shift towards that left side, opening that right side. Pull overhead, a little hard, and then legs just last time towards this right side, opening that left side of the body. And back to a T, and now let's come down. Good, so now we're just gonna rotate towards the back of our reformer. And now I'm gonna add a heavy spring to mine. So I'm gonna do one red and one blue, okay? So I have one heavy, one light. Um, like I said, this works for me. If it's too heavy for you, always go down on a spring. Um, the most important part is for the pregnant mommies out there, we never want to dome our tummy. We never want to push it out. We don't want to put strain or stress on our abdominal muscles. That's how they split. So we got to be really careful. So if you're feeling like the pressure's too much, go down. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean that you have to. Um, for everybody else, challenge yourself with that heavy spring. And so we're going to start back. I'm going to um, be kneeling onto my knees, sitting onto my um, ankles. But I'm going to bring my body all the way back towards the edge of my carriage just so I can get more range of motion here. I have both straps in hands. So um, you can be sitting back if you feel comfortable. You can kneel. I'm going to sit back for this because it's a little heavier. So we're going to go into some rowing. So I'm going to do an underhand row. So I'm going to have my palms face up and I'm going to bring my arms back. So I'm keeping my arms narrow towards my body here. Okay, you can see. Really pull back, pull the shoulders out of your ears. Think about pulling the scapula blades down rather than squeezing them together. Okay, it's not a squeeze because that pulls our shoulders into our ears. Pull it down. Feel those back muscles work. And then out. And then we're going to bring our hands down and go to a high elbow row. So we're just going to rotate between both. Same thing, really engage that core. Do not. Um, dome it out, bring it in towards your spine. Think about pulling the shoulders out of your ears. Take your time here. Good. 
So you can see why I'm probably sitting back towards the back of my reformer or the front of my reformer so I can get more range of motion here. I have my hands in short straps. If you can't get a lot of range of motion here, your reformer's not moving, you're like this and I'm not feeling it, you can choke up onto your ropes here, okay? It's definitely going to be a lot more challenging, especially if you're on that heavier spree. Um, it actually feels really nice, but yeah, so same thing though. If you're choking up on those ropes, you're still doing underhand pull, rowing into an overhand um, high elbow row. Let's go for five. Four. So really focus on our form. Don't rush these. Three. Remember, exhale on that hard part. Two. And last one here, guys. One. And then go ahead and release. We're going to stay there. So I'm going to go back to my straps, my short straps here. Um, and now we're going to do a bicep curl. So I'm going to keep a straight spine here. Um, I don't want to go into a seat curve for the pregnant moms out there and postpartum, depending where you're at. We really want to avoid deep C cur curves. And that's when we actually bend and get that nice C curve into the abdominals. We don't want to do that anymore, okay? So from here, I'm going to be a nice uh, straight spine. Um, for my non-pregnant, you can go into a C curve here for more range. But whatever works for you, we're just going to keep our arms up at shoulder level and pull back. So try to keep your arms nice and lifted. They don't move. You're just bending at that elbow joint towards your face and then releasing. Pull the shoulders out of your ears. Don't keep that tension in the neck. Inhale. Exhale as you pull. Same thing. Protect those abdominals. Do not dome the tummy. Engage that core, breathing in towards your spine. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, almost there guys. Three, two, and last one. Go ahead and go rest. <laughs> so let's put our um, straps down. We're actually going to go around the world. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. But we're going to start from the end, from what we started at the end, and take it from the top. So we can go in a circle. So I'm um, starting to sweat, sorry. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to release my heavy springs. I'm going back to that light spring. And I'm going to grab the other strap. So now for this, my back's going to be towards you guys. So hopefully you remember how we did these kneeling series. So go ahead. I'm going to grab the short strap with my opposite hand. So my hand closest towards the foot bar with that short strap. I'm going to sit. With my arms come crossing over, I'm going to sit back towards my heels, flexing my spine. I'm going to take an inhale here. And as I exhale, I'm going to stack the spine and come out to a T. I'm going to inhale, rotate through that waistline, letting the ribcage rotate, but not my hips. And then exhale as I pull back to that T. Inhale, back to starting position. So... Hopefully you got the move. And take your time here. Focus on form. Pull the shoulders back. Nice, strong, straight spine. Try to pull that arm fully extended. And rotate through that waistline. Keeping those hips squared to that wall in front of you. So, obviously I'm right-handed. So my left arm is a little challenging. So, if you feel a little challenged too here, don't worry, we are dominant on one side of the body, so it's always important to work both sides. Let's go two more times. Inhale, exhale, stack that spine. 
Inhale, rotate through that waistline. Exhale, pull. One more time. Inhale, down. Exhale, stack that spine. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, pull. Good. Stay there. We're just going to go right into that nice mermaid stretch. So we're going to start towards that right side, opening that left side of the body. Let the strap pull you. Take your time. Pull those shoulders back. Pull that overhead a little hard there. And allow that strap to pull you back home, opening up toward that right side of that body. Whew. Let's do that one more time. Out to that T. Strap comes overhead, opening that left side. Pull back to that T. Strap comes over, underhand, pulling towards that right side. Back to that T and come on down. Good job, guys. So, um, we can actually just keep that strap in our hand, but we're going to come down to our reformer now. My back is still going to be facing towards you guys. This is when we put our foot into that strap. So I'm going to come onto my right forearm, and I'm going to put my foot into the short strap, if you have the option. And I'm going to go ahead and use the length of my reformer. So I'm really stretching my spine out. You don't see that I'm like up here by my head, my shoulders um, rest. You really want to let your body come out and really lengthen through that spine. Good. Remember, press through that forearm. Do not sag into that shoulder. Keep that leg up at hip level. Hips are stacked. And let's go ahead, bend and stretch. Keep that foot flexed. Really feel the back of that leg. Feel those glutes. Um, if you want to take your free hand and kind of cradle your belly here or place it onto the reformer, totally fine. Just remember, try to keep a nice long spine from head to tail. You're not like this. Good job, guys. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one, keep that leg straight. We're going to flex that foot as we swing it in front of us and point the toe back. Flex the foot and point the toe back. Remember, still keeping that leg up at hip level. We haven't dropped it. So if it's on fire, I'm right there with you. That's what we want. Getting every little fiber muscle. Don't drop that leg, guys. Let's go for two. And last one. Pull it back. Bring the foot just slightly in front of you where you can see the toes at that diagonal. And just little circles. For two. And one. Let's reverse that direction for five. Four. Three. Whoo, two. And one. Bend that leg. Shake it off. And slowly come on out of there. So, putting that strap back, and now we are going to end this leg series with a um, single leg on the foot bar. So, I'm going to add my two heavy springs back. Um, so, two heavy and one light. I'm going to come onto my side, and I'm going to lay down. I'm going to place my left foot onto that foot bar. I'm going to bring my right leg onto that carriage. When I'm ready, I'm going to take a deep inhale. Make sure your hips are stacked here, guys. We don't want to be rolled out like this. See if you can find that little gap between the rib cage, I mean the, your oblique and the carriage. Cradle your belly if you like. And let's press all the way up. Make sure you get full extension and in. So if this was heavy for you on the other side, make sure you keep the same spring load on both legs. Get full extension out and in. Use your breath. Exhale out. Inhale in. Let's go for three, two, and last one coming halfway. Lift that foot, heel off the bar, and we're going to go into that clamp out and in. 
So you still want tension on that carriage. You are holding it halfway out. And now you're rotating that knee up towards the ceiling and back down. So really feel it as you rotate it up, squeezing those glutes. For five, don't let that carriage move. Four, three, two, and last one, place your heel back down, press that carriage out, and come on in. Whew. Almost done. We're going to rotate our heel onto that foot bar. Now our toes are up towards the ceiling, so is our knee. Our foot is flexed and flat as if you have it pressed against a wall. We're going to press through that heel and out. Still try to keep those hips stacked here, guys. Don't roll out onto that left side, and that means like this. You want to keep them stacked. Really focus on our form. So you can still lift up that right oblique off of that carriage. Use your breath. Exhale out for five, four, three, two. And last one, come in halfway and just little pulses. Let that carriage move. Feel that tension. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way out and come on in. Whew. Good job. So slowly come on up and on out of that. Let me just okay, guys, so we come on up and now we're going to release two of our springs. So I only want one heavy spring, so one red spring. And now we're going to be facing our front of our reformer. So a few options here. You can be kneeling, sitting on your heels. You can um, be kneeling up on your knees, or you can come on down and have your legs out, especially if you have a big belly. This might be a little bit more comfortable if you want to put a pillow under your butt to elevate your hips higher than your knees. Be my guest. Do whatever is comfortable for you here, guys. So I'm going to grab both of my straps. And from here, I'm going to have short straps in my hand here, okay? Also, you can place your legs out like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just do how good treat. So I'm going to place my legs <laughs> It's a little bit more comfortable. So hug a tree here, you guys. So this means our elbows are slightly bent. You think you have a beach ball in your hand. You're not up here, and you're not down here. And also, we're not opening up to all the way here. Ending, starting and ending position is here. You want to be able to see your hands, your peripheral vision, and in. Still engaging that core here, guys. Do not dome it. If you want a little bit more challenge, come up onto your knees. This will make the straps feel a little bit heavier. So, good. Slow and controlled here. Think about leading with those pinkies in, okay? Rather than like this. Think about leading with those pinkies in, shoulders out of ears, slow and controlled. Feeling those shoulders, opening up that chest, getting into our front deltoids, our chest and pecs here. Good. You got it. Keep breathing. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, go ahead and come on down. Shake it off for a quick second. We're not done here. From here, we're going to go into offering. So elbows start right by our side. Palms are facing up now. So we're going to push out straight in front of us. Open up to that T. Back in and down. Focus on that breath. Pull those shoulders out of your ears. Take these nice and slow. The slower and controlled, the more effective it is. We're really working those nice fiber muscles, getting into your shoulders, really strengthening and toning, giving us some nice, sexy arms and shoulders. Let's go for four. 
three, two, and last one, guys. As you come on in, stay here. And you're just gonna do little circles outwards, okay? Little raindrop circles outwards. Keep your arms up at shoulder level for two, and one. Now we're gonna do little raindrop circles inwards. I still haven't dropped my arms for three, two, and one. Bring it down. Whew. I definitely feel these. Oh my gosh, so, so good. Take your time. We're almost done with this. We're just gonna go into some nice triceps. So to get to our triceps, both hands into the shafts. We're gonna push forward and then we're gonna bring our arms back behind our head. So from here, you wanna try to keep your elbows narrow rather than out to that T, okay? And from here, you're just bending up the elbow and pushing up. So arms stay nice and stacked, not really moving. You're just end bending at that elbow joint. Feel that connection with the triceps. You shouldn't feel this in your shoulders. If you're feeling this in your shoulders, you probably have your arms out too wide. And you're just bending at the elbow. You can hinge forward just a tad here, nice straight spine, still engaging that core. So look, that's not engaged. My tummy's out. I'm really pulling it in. Let's go for three. Actually, let's go for five. Sorry, wasn't enough. Four. Three. Two, and one, come on down. Good job, guys. Go ahead and place your straps down. I just realized I forgot to resume my um, workout, just so I can stay on track with time. I'm gonna put my straps down here, and now we are going to drop our bar. So let's drop our bar. I like to keep it onto the first notch. I don't bring it all the way down, just so I can have more room to place my hands on that platform, okay? And now we're gonna switch to a light spring only. So one blue spring, heavy spring off. And we're gonna do a little planking series here, okay? So slowly come on up. And we're gonna take this in um, series. So depending where you're at, um, if you're new to Pilates or you're advanced, um, if you're pregnant, not pregnant, so I'll give you an option for everything here. So let's place our hands onto the foot, um, onto the platform. We're on a light spring. The light spring's too light for you, um, especially for the pregnant mamas and postpartum moms. Go ahead and add like a medium spring, or you can add a um, heavy, whatever works for you. We're gonna start with our knees at the end of the carriage here. Okay. You can go ahead and tuck, lay the toes down, okay? We're just gonna start with the toes flat, press through those shoulders, engage that core, so not engage. See how my tummy hangs? You don't want that, you wanna pull it up towards your spine, protecting our abdominal walls. And from here, we're just gonna push back. With our knees, arms stay stacked over our palms. And then you're gonna use those lower abs to pull that carriage back in, okay? So these are really slow and controlled. Allow your hips to fall back, lengthen through that spine, and then use those low abs to bring you in. So these are slow and controlled. Find that low ab engagement. So for my pregnant moms, just because we're pregnant doesn't mean we have to stop doing ab work. Absolutely not. It's very important to keep our abdominal walls pretty strong. It'll help us through our pregnancy, it'll help us with back pain, the stronger our abs are, the less strain that we put onto our lower back, um, and also with laboring. We just don't want to do crunches anymore, okay? So we're going to avoid any type of crunches, but planking and um, oblique work is totally fine. So let's go for two, bring it in. And last one. So we're going to add on to this. So if that's okay for you and that's challenging, stay there. You want a little bit more challenge for my more advanced, non-pregnant um, people. Tuck the toes. Prepare yourself to go ahead and lift up out into a plank. 
So now I am in a full plank from head to tail, pressing through my hip palms. My shoulders are staying stacked. And from here, I'm just gonna wheel out and in, engaging that core here, okay? So I'm pushing out, sawing out with my arms. Nothing too big here. Stay strong. Um, if you're pregnant and you're doing this and you're feeling the strain on your tummy, come back to your knees or just hold that plank. For two. And one. Come back. And now we're just going to bend our knees in and out. Holding that plank. Like I said, if it's getting too challenging for you, just hold that plank. Five. You got it, guys. Four. Use those abs, those lower abs, two. And last one, let's just hold that plank. Hold it there, you got it. Draw that stomach in towards your spine for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees and take a nice little child's pose. Great, good job. So, now let's come up our for a reformer, and we're going to find, I'm seeing that my head's being cut off, so no worries. Um, let's get our long boxes. Okay, guys, so we found our long boxes, and we're still going to stay on that light spring, so one blue spring only, okay? We're going to come onto our boxes, kneeling, facing towards that back of the reformer, and we're going to just grab one strap. So I have my right strap in hand, and I'm going to pull, push my legs all the way back. So you want your knees at the end of your box. You're not up here hunched, like kind of scrunched over. You want to lengthen through that spine. I'm going to go long strap here um, just because it's going to get a little bit challenging. Um, maybe a little bit challenging. So we're just going to start with our arm right by our side. And we're just going to bring that arm back. So just a straight arm sweep. Make sure our head is nice in line with our spine. So I'm not up like this. I'm looking down at that floor, and I'm not using momentum. I'm really trying to use the back of my arm to pull this strap. Try to keep a slight bend in that resting arm's elbow. I'm super guilty of hyperextending my elbows, so I'm always reminding myself. So, <laughs> And engaging that core. Pull it in towards your spine. Good. Sorry, I just have a itch on my nose. And we're going to add on to this. So if this is good for you, stay here. Um, Especially if you're pregnant and you don't have your um, balance can get a little bit difficult being pregnant. So if you don't feel comfortable, stay here. But if you feel comfortable and you want that challenge, we're going to extend that opposite leg. So I'm going to extend my left leg, find a spot on that floor as I move back and forth. So it's definitely challenging here. We're challenging our obliques, our abdominals by lifting this leg, and we're still working into that back for two. We're gonna add on, and last one. Good, from here, we're gonna pull our leg out, and now we're just gonna bend our leg as we bend our elbow. So we're gonna do some triceps with some leg. So we extend and bend at the same time. So a little coordination here. It's a little hard talking, so I'm gonna stop talking as I do these. Let's go for three, two, and one. Bring it on down. Good. So hopefully, so you got a little challenging. Um, hopefully you're able to bring that opposite leg up. If no, not, no worries. Safety always first. From here, we're just going to grab our strap. I'm going to put my foot in the short strap just because we're on that light spring. It's a little bit more challenge for me. And now we're going to come back up again kneeling. So we're going to do some single leg pulls onto the um, box. So it's important here, your opposite leg that doesn't have the strap, now you want to put it into the center of the reformer, I mean, sorry, the box, but towards the back of it. And you're going to bring that right leg, whatever foot's in that strap, right in line with that um, resting knee. So we're not all the way up here, okay? So starting position is right in line 
hands down, slight and bend in our elbows, and then let's go ahead and pull back. And down. So using the back of that leg to pull that um, strap here, okay guys? So you can see I'm not arching that back, back as I pull back. I'm keeping everything in line, and then down. And then I'm also not allowing my leg to pass my kneeling knee. I'm bringing it right in line here. So pulling back, keeping our eye gaze down at the floor. And down. Good, let's go for three, two, and last one. Good, stay there. We're just gonna come down towards our, onto our elbows now, okay? So now we're gonna do a nice little donkey kick. So bring it down towards, onto your forearms, and you're gonna bring your knee in and kick through that heel. Just careful with that strap so it doesn't rub against you. It could burn your arm. So you want to take these nice and slow. Try to keep your leg out. A little out on that box so it doesn't rub. But really think about kicking from that hill. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it on down. Good. Slowly come on out of that strap. And we're just going to do the same exact thing onto the other side. So we're going to start with um, our arm pulling the strap, kneeling. So let's come down kneeling, both um, knees down. And um, let's go ahead. Make sure you have a nice long straight spine and pull back and slowly resist that carriage coming home. So really using the back of that arm, for those triceps working here. Slight like bend in that resting arm. Good. And then when you're ready, so this is my most um, difficult side here, but I'm still going to attempt to do it. I'm gonna lift my opposite leg out and do the same thing. So, I'm not going to talk here. I'm really focused. Hold it. Let me position my body a little bit better onto this box. Good. There we go. Two. And one. Now let's bend both elbow and knee and extend. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on down. Good. Almost done here. Let's end. Finish this with our foot in strap. So take your time and place your foot into your strap. And then we're going to come back to the kneeling position. Good. From here, our kneeling knee, you're going to place it into the middle of that box now. It's not out towards that side. Middle box, but towards the back of the box. Go ahead and release your left leg down. And you want it in line with your kneeling knee. You don't want it too far up um, above that, past it. From here, go ahead and pull back and release. So you want to use no momentum here. You're really just using the back of that leg and your glutes here. And remember, as I pull back, I'm not arching that low back. You want to keep everything in line. Good. Slight bend in those elbows. Keep your eye gaze at the floor. Head in line with your spine. Let's go for four. Engage that core. Don't let it hang. Three. Two. And one. Good. Almost done here. Let's just come down to our forearms. Place both knees onto that box. 
and now we're just going to go into that nice little donkey kick. So I'm going to lift my left knee up and kick through that heel. I'm still lengthening through that spine. You want to kick straight back. Feel those glutes working hard. Try to watch that strap so it doesn't rub your arm. For five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of there. Good job, guys. So, slowly come on out of that. We can go ahead and put our strap down and now we're going to turn our box into a short box so drop your headrest if it was up placing our box over our shoulder blocks um if you're like on the taller side i'm five six so i have to put this over the shoulder blocks in order for me to keep my leg straight we're going to go into our nice set side bend series um add a few more Springs, just so the carriage doesn't move, we're not going to be moving with the springs. Um, so, if you're on the shorter side, like five, two, five, three, you can possibly keep your box in front of your shoulder blocks. The only main reason here, guys, is when we place our foot into this strap, when we do this series, in order to do these correctly, you want this right leg or the strap that's in the leg to be straight as possible. If it's bent like this, you're not gonna get the full effect of working into our obliques, getting that nice um, rainbow of the side bends, okay? You're just going to, your leg's gonna be awkward. So that's what I said, if you're on a taller side, make sure your box is coming up over your shoulder blocks. Good, from here. And then we'll do this in series two. So I'll modify for the pregnant moms that don't feel comfortable um, putting their foot in a strap and allowing their weight to come up into that well. So, and if you have been doing Pilates and you know exactly what we're doing, then go ahead and do um, the, um, the way of the side bend. So we can start with our hands on our heart here. So this is gonna show you the more advanced way, intermediate advanced, foot and strap. So now I'm gonna allow my body to be onto that strap Really um, feel your foot into that strap. I'm gonna bring my body into that well and up. Make sure our hips are stacked here, okay? You don't wanna be turned out. We're not putting stress on our abdominal walls. We are working into our obliques, especially for um, pregnant moms and postpartum moms here, okay? Pull those shoulders back. If this is too much for you, this doesn't feel comfortable, place your hand onto that, um, Headrest, bring your um, free hand behind your head, and what you can do is just kind of come into a nice little side crunch. When you do these side crunches, you want to try to close the gap between your lowest rib cage and your hip bone, okay? So you have that support here. You're not allowing the weight in your leg to just kind of move you. So this is the modified version of this. For my advance, let's continue working into those obliques. You can bring your hands overhead, or you can bring them, I mean, sorry, behind your head, or overhead. I'm gonna stay here just because I'm really starting to feel a little pregnant these days. I just wanna protect my abdominal walls. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and place your left hand down and just take a nice little mermaid stretch. and then let's come on up. Good, so we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. I'll try not to talk as much since I showed you the ver different versions that you can do. So you can kind of just pick what you're comfortable with. If you're gonna go with the assistant crunch, keep your hand down, go ahead and start doing that. If you wanna go ahead and bring your hands to your heart over um, behind your head, overhead, go ahead. So let's go into it. The most important thing is make sure hips are stacked, nice long spine here, okay? And lift up. Remember, we're not working into our front abdominals here. We're pulling those in towards our spine, but we're working into our obliques. And oblique work is fine for us pregnant moms and postpartum moms, okay? That's okay to work into these obliques. Keep going. 
Let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Place that right hand down and stretch over. And come on up. Whew. Good job, guys. So, from here, we can keep our box. We're almost done, I promise. Let's keep our box on. We don't have to move it. Let's hit some inner thighs real quick. So, I'm going to release two of my heavy springs. I only have one light spring. So, one blue spring only. Before you come onto your carriage, step completely off. And you're going to step onto your platform first. Always platform, then carriage. These carriage move. So you don't want to fall, especially on that light spring and get a little bit scary. So platform, and then place your foot onto that carriage. So my head might cut off here, guys, but that's okay. You don't need to see my head. You want to make sure you see um, the lower half of my body. So inner thighs. I am going to place my feet out to second position. So my toes are pointing out towards that side. This will just challenge our inner thighs a little bit more. Um, good, from here, let's press out, bring those arms out to a T, only press out as comfortable as you feel, and then lift up, feel those inner thighs as like a magnet, and lifting up onto that pelvic floor, squeezing it, and out, and squeezing it. So for those that don't really know how to connect with the pelvic floor, it's really important that we strengthen that, especially after birth. <laughs> And, you know, preparing for birth um, for us moms. So we want to press out. So the best way to connect with it, this is kind of how I was taught. It's a little graphic. But think about squeezing a tampon and lifting up. That is connecting with our pelvic floor. As you push out, allow it to fall. Rest it. And then push, pull in. Squeeze as you bring those um, inner thighs closer together. And back. Good. Press out and pull in. Let's go for five. So as you push out, allow it to rest. And then push on in two. Last one. Come on in. Stay there, guys. Hands on our hips. We're going to press the carriage just slightly out. Our toes are still pointing out towards that side. Slightly up, stack that spine. We're just gonna go straight down and up. Don't let that carriage move, okay? Try to keep it halfway out. Press through those feet, squeeze, feet sorry, squeezing those inner thighs as you come on up. Down and up. Think about your sliding down two glass panes so you're not arching that butt. Let's go for four, three, And last one, come on up and slowly bring that carriage in and step on down. So we can put our box away. And just really quick, you're probably wondering why we're not doing it on the other side. Um, when you do inner thighs, the good thing about it, you are working both sides of your inner thighs on one side so you don't have to turn around. It's just kind of when we do skating version with that heavier spring, we're working one side only, so that's why we turn. So from here, guys, let's go ahead and end this with feet and straps. So if you're not pregnant, go ahead, one light, one heavy, lie down, feet and straps. If you are pregnant, depending where you are, about 20 weeks, we don't want to lay on our backs um, for a long period of time anymore. Um, I'm about 17 weeks. Um, I feel still kind of, I feel comfortable laying on my back still. I don't feel that pressure, but if you do feel that pressure, depending how big your belly is, and when you lay on your back, you'll feel it. You'll feel uncomfortable. You'll feel the weight. Then don't go, don't do that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But if you are in the past 20 weeks, the best thing here is to get a wedge. Invest in a wedge. It's like a pillow. It's like a wedge pillow. I'm still looking for one for um, this type of reformer. It's the SPX Merfew 
studio, home studio one. I've looked online, I cannot find one that fits my reformer. So if anybody has this and has that wedge, please let me know where you got it because I'm looking for one. So I don't have the wedge, but I want to get a wedge. Um, you can also maybe use like a stability ball here to elevate our head to kind of keep, you just want to keep your head and shoulders up above the belly so we don't put that pressure. Um, if you're not there yet and you don't have a wedge and you don't feel comfortable laying on your back, then just skip the series, go into a stretch. So if you do, come on down and let's put our feet in straps. We won't be here long. And from here, we're just going to go into bend and stretch. So you want to keep your knees slightly above, I mean your ankles slightly above your knees and press out. Good. So yeah, I might have to just make my own wedge for this reformer. I don't know, <laughs> but I know eventually I'm going to have to be on a wedge and not laying onto my back, even if it's just for a short period of time. Good guys, we are almost there, good job. I'm sorry if I've been like stuttering or kind of out of breath, it's been a while since I filmed for my YouTube channel, so just trying to get back to talking into a camera again and working out at the same time. Good, let's go for three two and last one press out and let's just lower and lift our legs straight legs lower and lift keeping that tailbone heavy feel the back of those legs stretch you should feel good especially for all that leg work that we did stretching out those hamstrings releasing the back of the legs stretch and then pulling those straps down for three two and last one. Let's go into our leg circles. Good. So you want to make these your biggest circles here if you can. So turn the toes out towards the diagonal and really allow these to be your biggest circles. Opening up those hips, bringing mobility to that ball and socket. For two. And one. Let's reverse the direction. Good. Same thing. Let's go for three, two, and one. Bending those knees and just allow your legs to come into a nice frog position, bringing your feet down towards the springs and allowing these ropes to fall onto us. Good. Let's just take a quick sign here. I'm just going to talk to my pregnant moms. So as we do Pilates, there's a few things that we want to avoid. So obviously we want to avoid laying on our stomachs. That's an obvious. We want to also avoid going into that deep C curve, which I explained earlier. And then also we want to avoid kind of um, a deep rotation. And what I mean deep rotation is when we're planking and we reach our hand, right hand towards like the back of our leg, just really rotating through that waistline. We want to be careful with that. Not necessarily for our bodies, but for our babies. As our bellies grow bigger, we don't know where the umbilical cord is on our babies. And if the umbilical cord is wrapped around our baby's head and we are rotating and twisting, it can actually pull on it. So it's really just protecting our babies. So very careful with that. And like I said, with these programs that I'm going to make now, I'm going to be very careful as our bellies grow bigger and um, find modified versions for us pregnant and postpartum mommies. Okay, so when you're ready, let's come on out and place our straps there. And then also for our postpartum moms that just gave birth and you've been okay to work out, should be after six weeks, you want to try to check for your abdominal walls for DR, diastasis recti, and that's when your abdominal, rect, uh, abdominal walls split. It's very common in birth. I had it. I had a very light bleed. Um, there's different degrees in it. You can have it lightly and you can have it really severe or it's really split. I'll make a video on how to check ourselves for that, okay? And it's really important to check yourself, especially when you get into some core work, okay, to protect that, um, those, uh, your abdominals so we don't split them more, so we're not bulging out. So, um, yeah. 
So thank you guys so much. This is my first video back since announcing that I'm pregnant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was prenatal friendly. Also for my non-pregnant um, subscribers, know that um, I hope you enjoyed it too and it was challenging for you guys. Thank you so much. Give this a thumbs up and leave a comment or request if you guys have it. Thank you. Bye.